Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how uh, to get uh, started animating a character that w the one character that we just rigged using a parenting method. This character right here has been rigged using the parenting method and I did not use any bones or, or joints in this. So this way is a little less complicated. But we're going to start animating him. So I'm going to open up the last file that we did. <clears throat> and this is the file that we were working on and we stopped here we saved this file just rigged and so we're going to start animating him and, and the first thing I'd like to do is select everything and create a starter um, keyframe by creating a keyframe for everything at frame one so I'm going to hit I'm going to select everything box select everything hit s to set a keyframe Turn on auto keyframe, it's down here. Should be red when it's on, it should be grayed out when it's off. So I'm gonna turn it on. At about frame 10, I'm gonna lower his arms. Hit E to rotate. And lower his arm at frame 10. So from zero to 10, his arms get lowered. Um, and I'm going to rotate his hand. I feel that they should be pointing this way. And so there's our startup position. Um, and so if I'm going to do a walk, I'm just having, I'm just going to have him take a step. And so what I'd like to do is lift up one of his legs. So at frame 20, well, actually five, every five frames at frame 15, I am going to select this leg and lift it up. I'm gonna lift it up, but before I do that, I'm gonna undo that. I've got a problem here because at frame 10, I already have a keyframe for the shoulder. So that means that if I do a keyframe on frame 15 for this leg and lift it up, it's gonna start lifting all the way from frame one, as you can see, look, it starts lifting from frame one. And I don't want that. I'm gonna undo that and undo that keyframe. I'm gonna go back to frame 10. And before I lift it up at frame 10, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna create a keyframe. It's called a, a hold keyframe. I'm gonna keyframe, I haven't done anything, but as soon as I hit the S for set keyframe, um, it records a keyframe and from one to 10, that foot does nothing. It's just called a hold keyframe. Boom, he does nothing. From 10 to 15 though, I want him to lift his leg. So again, he lowers his arms and then from 10 to 15, he is going to raise that foot. So again, with the, um, the knee, also check this out. If I bend the knee right now, it's going to create a keyframe, but it's going to bend the knee all the way from frame one. Look at that. That knee's bending, 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 bending all the way to frame 15, and that's not what I want. I'm going to create a hold keyframe right there. Hit S. And then from 10 to 15, I'm going to bend that knee. Uh, I'm going to select the ankle oops the ankle I said again go back to frame 10 set that hold keyframe and then at frame 15 rotate it there just a little bit so from 10 to 15 he'll lift boop he'll just lift up his leg like that that's what's called a pass-through position when the leg is passing through the other one and so now we just have to advance and forward, extend this leg, and bend the other leg. But it, we have a problem, because as soon as I grab the hips, and I say, as soon as I move him, look, the other one goes with it. And so we need to just kind of mark out where his foot should be. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna go to the side view, hit A, and um, activate the 
grease pencil. I hit uh, the grease pencil here. Here's the grease pencil. And at frame 15, actually, I'm gonna select the hip. Oops. I'm gonna select the hip right there. And put a hold keyframe on frame 10. Hold it. So he doesn't move from one to 10. But at frame 15, I'm actually going to put another hold keyframe. Now we're going to the second move, which is 15 to 20. So on frame 20, I'm gonna create a keyframe for my grease pencil. And you can see it marked right here. And I am going to mark where this foot is. I basically just want this corner right here. And so at frame 20, I am going to grab the hips, the main character, and I am going to put him, W, here. He's going to go from here to here, and I gotta put this leg up here and then extend this leg. And so here we go, guys, from 15 to 20. Now, it's crazy because now we're going to get, let me see the right hip and see he doesn't have any keyframes. So I'm gonna go back to 15, set a keyframe to hold it, go back to 20 and I am going to rotate it. Rotate it to about right there. Well, actually to about right there. Next is the knee. The knee, go back to 15, set a hold keyframe, go back to 20, and then rotate it to there. I might have to, I might have to do the hip again, push him a little bit further this way. Actually, I'm going to Grab the entire hip and move the character now. I'm on frame 20 till we get that right there. Remember, he just lifted his foot and now he's there. And so for the left, for the left one, he's going to extend. He's now going to extend this foot. Um, actually, the, the, the hip one is okay. I'm just going to hit a keyframe. The knee. Let's extend it. And then the ankle. Remember, I've got a frame on 15, so I'm okay with it. I'm gonna hit E to rotate and then do this. So from frame 15, from frame 10 to 15, he lifts up the foot and then 20, 15 to 20, he takes a step Boom, right there. And now I have to create another grease uh, pencil marking right here. Let me go ahead and create that now. We want to um, activate, we want to record this corner here. So for our next, uh, let's go to another five frames and grab the entire hip, the main hip, move it to here, right about there, and then just make the legs follow through. I'm gonna grab this one, rotate it to there, rotate this one to there, grab the hip again, we missed it, to there, uh, and then the left, I mean, I'm sorry, the right, I am going to rotate it and to here, the knee rotate it to here. And if I was to keep on walking, that would be my next step. Uh, but I'm not, I'm just gonna set that foot down in the next five frames. So the right, straighten it out. The right knee, straighten it out to there. And so here it is. Here's the whole thing. Let's go ahead and play it. He puts down his arm, takes a, takes a step. 
not a big deal let's watch it in perspective it's a little fast uh, we could have done these in tens so let me unselect that play puts out and then boom takes a step let me end this quicker to like 50 so we don't have to wait till it comes back takes a step let's animate him looking forward and then turning turning this way to see the camera and then turning back and then maybe have him blink i am going to grab the neck he has no keyframes but after i'm going to create a keyframe a hold keyframe here on 10 and then i'm going to as he as he's about to start walking i want him to look down so add frame let's say 15 or even 20 I want him to look down because he's about to take a step as he takes a step he's going to look this way he's gonna look up and this way and as he looks down he's going to blink so I'm gonna select both eyes both eyes uh, keyframe at frame 10 for that hold uh, keyframe and then maybe we'll start it at 15 set a keyframe remember the blink is really quick so it's gonna happen in two keyframes and I am going to size it down to simulate that he closed his eyes and then the uh, opening up takes one, two, three, maybe four keyframes. And I'm looking at the scale here and I could go to one to get it back to the shape uh, uh, original. And there it is. Hit play, I'm gonna deselect it. Hit play, there it is, boom. And, and so we've got this character animated. We gave him some life. We rigged it using parenting. We animated it. Hey guys, in the next video, we are going to rig this character again using the auto rig tool, using joints. So I hope to see you in the next video, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.